My name is Satoru Honjo. I'm a junior in high school. I've liked manga since I was a child and I would draw mangas where I had the time like this, but... Hey, are you doodling again? No! Look at this. The introvert is still a boy at heart. This kind of thing happens to me every day. I'm used to it. My dream is to become a professional manga writer, so things like this won't stop me from pursuing my dream. Good morning! Miss Kurokawa! Morning! Morning, Misaki. Her name is Misaki Kurokawa. As you can see, she is beautiful. On top of that, she's good at sports and good at her studies. She has a good personality and is kind to everyone. She is also the president of the student council and is popular among all the students. But towards me, she is... M morning Morning! She is rather unfriendly towards me. I guess she doesn't want to have anything to do with a gloomy manga maniac like me. For better or for worse, we sit next to each other in class, but we hardly exchange words with each other. On top of that, she doesn't even look at me in the face. I guess she really doesn't like me. I am kind of used to this kind of attitude, but that Miss Kurokawa, who is kind to everyone, would behave that way to me too is a little shocking. No, no, forget this. Today, I'll draw more manga. Satoru, you're back, finally! What is it? You seem to be in a rush. I'll explain later. Go change your clothes. We're going out. What? Where to? Come on! Whoa! Say, what is this? Wait a little longer. You'll soon find out. What? Sorry to have kept you waiting. Uh, who is this person? I will introduce you to him. This is Yuichi. I'm going to remarry. What? In my family, I have no father. When I was in elementary school, he died in a traffic accident. After that, mom raised me single-handedly while working part-time every day. I've told you about him several times, right? He is my boss at work. Yuichi is very kind and helpful. <laughs> you praise me too much. My mom sometimes acts on impulse. But if it's something my mom decided, that will respect her decision. I have seen how hard my mom has worked for me, and if she could be happy, then that's what matters. I am a little surprised since it's really sudden, but congratulations, mom. Satoru, thank you. There is actually one more thing we should tell you. One more thing? Hello. I'm sorry to be late. What? Let me introduce you to my daughter, Misaki. Daughter? That means... We'll become family from today! Oh, I see. A family. What?! What is this, Dad? You did tell me that there would be someone the same age as me, but why is it Hanjo? Oh, I see. You two go to the same school. Then this is good. Mom! Did you know this? Well, I guess this kind of miracle does happen. Be nice to each other, alright? Their bad acting aside, from the week after, I was to live together with Miss Kurokawa. Oh, morning. I'm going to school. But she became even more cold towards me than before. I guess it's natural, but mom and dad seem to be worried about how we are not getting along with each other, so we should really do something about it. And then one day, on our day off, I got the manga that I wanted and came back home. I'm home! Hmm? Is nobody home? No, right? I'll draw some manga. I plan to finish up the manuscript that I've been drawing and open up the door to my room. Oh! Miss Kurokawa? What are you doing? Why? I thought you were going to be out all day to look for mangas! I found the one that I wanted to get, so I came back early. But that's mine! This is nothing! This is nothing! Miss Kurokawa took the main script I had drawn with her out of my room and went right into her room. Wait! Hey, how dare you enter a girl's room! But the thing goes for you! But anyway, could you get that back to me? But this... Ah! She lost her balance and fell to the floor. At the same time, the cloth that had covered her bookshelf fell off, and I started to see what was there. This is... What filled the bookshelf were not novels nor reference books, but mangas. Ah, uh, this is... Well, I like it! What? 
Miss Kurokawa finally gave in to start telling me everything. It seems like that she was also a manga maniac like me. But when she was in junior high school... She's always reading mangas. How uncool. She's such a mania. So gloomy too. Oh. She was reading mangas in class and people made fun of her as a manga maniac. That's why in high school, she was hiding the fact that she likes mangas and is acting part of an elite student council president. If that was the case, I wish she had told me that. I could not tell you. My image would have crumbled to the floor if people found out that it was a manga mania. I don't see why that matters. It does matter. I don't want people to make fun of me behind my back. Do you really like it? What? If you care about what people around you say, then your like is not so strong. Then why do you draw mangas? It's a promise I made with my dad. Your father? I like mangas because of my dad. Ever since I can remember, there were mangas in the house and we would talk about them. One day, I told him that I will become a manga artist in the future and draw something that will bring a smile on people's faces. I see. So I will not stop drawing, regardless of what others say around me. This is an important promise I made with my dad, so I will make my dream come true. Oh. The next day, I felt that there was even more distance between Miss Kurokawa and I. Did I say a little too much yesterday? Is she angry at me? I'll try not to have any eye contact with her today. At least that's what I was thinking. Say, do you have time after school? What? Oh, sure. After school? Yikes! What is it? There is something I want to tell you. This is not good. She is really angry. She's going to kill me! I'm sorry about yesterday. I'm sorry for yesterday. What? I went into your room without your permission. I didn't consider your feelings. She looked me straight into my eyes and apologized. I thought she would shout at me, but I was relieved to find out that was not the case. Oh, don't worry about it. I am sorry. I have a suggestion. Do you want to make a manga with me? What? I can't draw mangas, but I'm sure I've read many mangas compared to a lot of people. In your works, there are still things that are lacking. What? What could be lacking? That is, sister love. Sister love? What the monger lovers want to see is sister love. That is where it goes back to. You should work on that. That is where I should go back to? Anyway, let's go home and get to work, bro. What? What? Bro? I was born in November. You were born in May. So you are my older brother. But we are at the same age. I can't call you bro? She is so cute. Well, no, go ahead. Call me whatever you like. Then let's go home, bro. It seems like Miss Kurokawa's character is starting to crumble. Hmm, I still don't think it's enough. Oh, really? I thought I hadn't added a lot of scenes with the sister in it, though. It's not enough for the sister to be spoiled. Sometimes the sister should be treated a little rough. Well, then what if I try out on you, Miss Kurokawa? What? Oh, no. Well, I thought that I had the experience of it myself. It would be easier to draw. I don't want that. Right. That makes sense. Sorry. You should be kind to me. What? Come on! What? Miss Kurokawa is really influenced by this sister love. Or rather, this brother love. But I did not think that day would come when I could talk about manga with Miss Kurokawa, since I thought we had nothing in common before. And to be hugged by her, after spending such days with her, the quality of my manga improved. Yes, it looks quite good. If I send this in for the next manga competition, I might be able to win a prize. Wow, the introvert is looking at his manga and grinning to himself. How creepy. Oh, Eto. So, Master, is it fun to doodle? Let me see. Give it back! <laughs> if you want it back, then come and get it. That's enough! Ugh. You think you're worth something! Heto tried to rip the manuscript. Stop it! My best work! Give it back to him. What? Miss Kurokawa? What is it? I'm just teasing him a little. 
Give it back to him quickly. No, fine. Are you all right, bro, Hanjo? Oh, yeah, thanks. Hmm, you'll get what you deserve. Hmm, it's not here. That evening, I tried to take my manuscript from my bag, but it had disappeared. That's strange. Did I leave it in my school's desk? I must have forgotten it at school. That's what I had thought at the time. The next day... What is this? When I went to school the next morning, my manuscript was posted all over the classroom's wall. On top of that, on the manuscript was written terrible, just a doodle, and such heartless words. This is terrible. Who did such a thing? Oh? Isn't this a manga you drew? Heto. This is terrible. I wonder who did this. But maybe it was not such a bad thing. This kind of manga won't sell. A story about a sister who falls in love with her brother? That is so disgusting. To think that one could even think of such a thing. I could hardly contain my anger. To criticize my manga meant that he was also criticizing Miss Kurokawa. I hear that your mom remarried and you become family with Miss Kurokawa, right? Could you imagine Miss Kurokawa when you drew this? That would be so disgusting. <laughs> I'm at the end of my patience. I don't care what happens. I raise my fist, but then the next moment... You bastard! Miss Kurokawa? Ouch! What are you doing? To such a trash like you, you would have no idea what my bro is thinking when he is drawing, would you? Ouch! Stop it! Our teacher heard the news and stopped the fight. Miss Kurokawa was shaking with anger. I was gradually regaining my composure. Eto, apologize to everyone. Sorry. Kurokawa, I understand why you would want to hit him, but violence is not good. You are a student council president, so be more calm. I am not the kind of student council president like everyone thinks. Hmm? Kurokawa? I have liked mangas ever since I was little. I would read mangas instead of studying, but I was worried about what people around me would think, so I was acting the part of a good student. Miss Kurokawa told everyone what she had been hiding up until now. The classroom was in confusion at our sudden confession. I see. The present was part of the introvert gang then. That is funny. That's right. Anything wrong with that? I don't care what you say. But I cannot forgive you for belittling the mangas that I love. And I cannot forgive you for making fun of my brother who I like very much. <laughs> Did everyone hear this? Our student president likes her brother. How disgusting. As usual, Eto tried to get people to agree with him, but there didn't seem to be anyone who was on his side. They were all giving him cold stares. Eto, let's talk about it in the teacher's room. What? Why? The problem was solved, but I was worried about Miss Karakawa. I thought she would be made fun of as a manga maniac like me. I wish you had told us that you liked mangas much earlier. I watch animes quite a lot. If you like, let's go see you in the movie theater next time. It seems like I didn't have to worry about it, so I was relieved. Thanks for today. Yeah. And you said that you like your brother. Oh, that. Well, that was his family. There was nothing strange about it. <laughs> what are you laughing about? I thought that you have an interesting side, Miss Kurokawa. Say, would you stop that? What? Miss Kurokawa, I don't want to be called like that. I wish you would call me by my first name. But to be asked that all of a sudden... Call me by my first name! Mi... Misaki. Yes, bro. Whoa! My sister is quite strange, but I like my sister very much. The path that we'll be taking will not be normal, and there will be many hurdles along the way. But if we are together, I'm sure we can overcome them. Hello! Thank you so much for watching! I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. See you all next time. Bye-bye!